Hi everyone, this is Marie Abdushuk and I'm just going to quickly talk to you today about an issue that is really close to heart with me. It's um, child obesity and mental health. Um, it's close to my heart because obviously with my child being 10, this generation seems to love playing computer games, um, watching television, being a bit of couch potatoes instead of actually out there and exercising. So, um, also, I've just seen articles in the newspaper about, you know, child obesity, obesity in Northern Territory where we live, and that we're one of the highest per capita in Australia. So today I was prompted to have a quick chat to you online about it because my son, even though we have tried our best, um, I found this empty in the bot in our pantry and he had drunk a whole liter of Sprite, which is full of sugar. So in the past three months, we have been changing his diet, um, making it more plant-based, um, reducing sugar, trying to get him to exercise more, playing tennis, um, to lose weight, because he was getting a bit of a belly. And um, after watching a few documentaries about child obesity, and how it was affecting the lifespan of children in America, that they were actually declining, their lifespan was declining and they would be living um, less than their parents will be, um, sort of triggered something in me because I just thought to my husband, I said, honey, we work so many hours, we've both got businesses, we work so hard, but what sort of message are we sending out to our child? I mean, we're not exercising as much, we do eat well, but we need to educate him as to why he needs to eat more salads and vegetables and less processed foods. So we started watching documentaries with him um, and the great one is on Netflix and it's called um, What the Health? And actually one of my clients um, told me to watch it. So I get a lot of um, help from my clients at the day spa um, about looking, you know, being healthy, looking great. So we watched it with him and it just showed that more plant-based diet was the way to go because your body does not um, process um, refined foods as easily. Um, it also gets stored in your system and your organs don't work as well. So plants help your body flush, detox, um, and you use up the, and the fiber helps you feel more full. So we did that. We also started exercising with him in the morning. Um, we needed to do that because we saw that his grades were declining. Even though he goes to one of the best schools in um, Darwin, he wasn't getting good grades. He was getting C's. Um, so we started exercising with him because he needed energy to be you know, um, focused at school. He needed to be able to exercise and want to exercise. So. We started exercising with him in the morning and reducing his time in front of the computer, the iPads, um, making sure he was eating right, making sure he started sleeping well. So we started diffusing essential oils at night and it made him sleep so he would wake up earlier. Um, anyway, the whole point I'm trying to make is there's no point working, making a fortune and you're failing your children because our habits in the family were wrong. We were staying up watching television. We were um, not exercising. So as a family, as parents, our job is to make sure that our child does grow up to be a responsible adult and contributes to society. And from what I've been reading and hearing is that a lot of children are becoming obese, so therefore they're sluggish, they're not wanting to um, do well at school, they're not wanting to, um, they're not happy, um, they're, there's depression, mental health. I, I go into the public toilets and I see signs up in the, hot, in the toilet about children and public um, mental health uh, of young children. So all of this, I, I, I have found that from research, it's tied to um, what we're eating and our habits. So anyway, Apart from educating your child, I also, I also realized today is that you need to keep the distractions and the bad influences out of the house because a 10 year old obviously isn't as disciplined as an adult to be able to say, okay, that's bad for me, I'm not going to drink it. Despite what we showed him, despite what we sh you know, we've told him, he obviously if there's temptation, um, you need to remove it. And I stupidly had this in the house because I was going to make some drinks for um, for a party downstairs in the day spa, and I forgot it up there. And 
I went to take it downstairs and it was empty. So, four things, as I said, educate your children and um, exercise with them, eat well with them, uh, show them documentaries so they can see real life people and how they've transformed their lives by the proper habits. And most importantly, make sure that you keep away the bad influences. So, um, just so you know, I do have another um, YouTube video page, it's called Marie Oblishuk, so if you'd like to um, have a look at other videos coming up on that, please um, have a look and on my Facebook page as well, Marie Oblishuk, so it's not always going to be on this Facebook page. And like and share so that you do get to see my videos in your feeds.